wondering how to pronounce the word theater in English. I want to teach you specifically how Americans say theater and also talk about the difference between the expressions go to the theater and go to the movies. First, let's start with the pronunciation. There are several things you need to watch out for when pronouncing the word theater. The TH sound causes many English language learners problems, but it's easy to master because you can clearly see how to pronounce it. Just make sure to stick out your tongue a little bit, like this. Be careful not to stick it out too much, though. Check out my lesson on pronouncing the TH if you'd like more practice with this sound. Theater has three syllables. The first has the primary stress, the. This should be much louder and longer than the other two syllables in the word. It should sound like this, theater. Theater. You note that first syllable is much louder and longer. Now the middle syllable is a weak, quiet schwa sound. It's spelled with an A, but don't be fooled. It does not sound like an A because it's a weak syllable. It sounds like this, a. Uh. That's the schwa. To pronounce the schwa, Relax all the muscles of your face, your jaw, and your tongue. Your mouth falls open and your tongue is relaxed and down, but not touching your teeth. Like this. Uh. Uh. Notice how relaxed that is. There is no tension. You should feel no muscles contracting anywhere in your mouth, jaw, or tongue. This is a sound that you might hear if someone hit you in the stomach. Now try this with me. I know it's a little funny, but it will help you understand what this sound really is. So if you take your hand and you punch yourself in the stomach like this, uh, uh, it's just a relaxed, quiet sound that's pushing the air out of your lungs, but your mouth is just neutral. It's not tense in any way. If you'd like more details on the schwa, please check out my schwa lesson. So, so far we have that strong first syllable, the, and now we have that short, quiet, weak syllable in the middle, thea, thea. Notice the difference, the, thea. Thea. All right, now let's move on to that last syllable. There are two tricky sounds in this last syllable. The T is a flap T. I also have a video on the flap T if you want more details on that. But basically, the flap T will sound like an English D. But depending on your native language, you may say it sounds like an R. So it's going to sound like theater, theater. Pretend that last T is a D and you should get it just fine. And finally, we have that ER at the end. Now the ER sound is one of the most characteristic sounds of American English. You can really identify American English by all those ER, ER, ER sounds. By the way, Theater will be pronounced quite differently in British English. In this video, I'm just talking about American English pronunciation. To make the er sound, your tongue needs to be pulled back or curled up. But the tip of your tongue cannot touch anything. Make sure it does not touch the roof of your mouth. And you'll want to feel the tension in your mouth, your tongue, and your face. And you're gonna round your lips somewhat to pronounce the er, like this. Er, er. Is your tongue pulled back? And it's not touching the roof of your mouth, correct? All right, if you need more instruction on the er sound, please see my video on that as well.
Now let's put it all together. We have theater, theater. Now that you know the pronunciation, let's talk a little bit about word usage. When do you actually use the word theater when speaking American English? This can be a little bit confusing. Theater has two meanings. First, it's the place where you see shows, like live plays or movies. It's the location, the actual building. So theater can be used to refer to seeing a play also. For example, last night we went to the theater. We saw Cats. Now Cats is a live performance. It's not a movie. So in this respect, we say we went to the theater to see a play. But if you saw a movie instead, you would say, last night we went to the movies. Don't say we went to the theater. We went to the movies. We saw the movie Jumanji. All right, so did you get that? If you say, I went to the theater, it's to see a live event. If you say, I went to the movies, it's to see a movie. Easy, right? Okay, but there's one more little trick. As I told you just a bit ago, that theater can also refer to a place, to a building, to a location. So you could also say, last night I went to the movies. I saw Jumanji at the theater in the mall. So in this case, the theater is the place that you saw the movie. Okay, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.